Welcome to Gas and Watts. My name is Abe and this is my 2002 Lexus GS300 sports design. This is my daily, my drift car, my autocross, my track car. I love having fun with it, just driving the car. Still not sure which, you know, racing I want to focus on. So just trying them all out. So I bought this car uh, four years ago with about 186,000 miles. Now it's sitting at 256, drive it every day. I wanna show you guys the progress with this car and my progress as a driver. Um, I am pretty new to racing. I just started last year, so I'm still learning and I am planning to do a lot of modifications and I wanna take you guys through it and explain to you guys uh, what it will help with and what will improve with the car. The difference it can do. I chose this car as my daily and my race car because it has a 2JZ in it. Um, as any other Toyota fanboys, I really wanted a Supra, but life got in the way. You have some kids and I do need that four-door. Let me uh, show you around with what I have done with the car so far. All right, for the exterior, I uh, have my headlights retrofitted with the Infiniti Q45 projectors with 6K HIDs, eBay, TTE wrap lip, <laughs> some yellow fogs with uh, yellow HIDs. These are my racing wheel setup. These are CCW Classics. Um, it is 18 by 10 and it has all the way around. Uh, it has some 265. 35, 18, and 275, 35, 18, uh, Toyo R eight R's. Pretty much everything's stock. You can tell I took off my spoiler. Uh, somebody sat on it and it's all crooked. <laughs> and then right here, <laughs> I have gone to only two different tracks. Uh, this is Hollett, and this is uh, Mo Motorsports Ranch at Crescent. I am planning to go to as much track as I can and try to fill this whole back windshield up. <laughs> right here is my trailer hitch, my daily. It serves as like, when me and the family go to take our bikes to the trails, I, I'll be loading up four bikes. <laughs> this also comes in handy during drift events. I can have my my hitch tray, I think that's what they're called, they call it. Uh, I can load up my tires and tools and everything without putting it inside the car. Bird racing seats, uh, just, they're fake. <laughs> right now I'm on a budget. Um, also my rails are my stock rails so I can still adjust it electronically. I <laughs> have an IS300 handbrake that is connected to a GK Tech hidden hydro. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a fake Junction Produce. It came with the car when I bought it. My buddy went to Japan and he got me this souvenir. That's pretty cool, huh? Wrap this with carbon fiber vinyl and this is just some Amazon Android radio. Just um, have a Amazon dash cam front and rear. And then let's take you to the trunk. In the trunk, we have the JL10W7 inside the red eye box. It is connected to a JLXD600-1. Um, the sub can definitely handle all the way to a thousand watts, but I don't really want to push it, <laughs> make it last longer. When I'm going racing or anything, I take out the sub and I have my, as you can see back here, my TC Sportline rear strut tower bar. Um, and that's pretty much it for the trunk. Two 
two J Z. No. <laughs> so this is the two J Z. This original motor has two hundred fifty six thousand miles. I'm just keeping it in stock for now, just to make sure it's reliable. All the upgrades that I have to my battery TC Sportline uh, up front upper strut bar. It's a KNN drop in filter. Mishimoto Toyota Supra uh, racing ra radiator with the Mishimoto shroud and uh, electric fans. This is my power steering cooler. If you look over here, here's my Durrell transmission cooler. I have had an instance at the track where I overheated the transmission fluid and it started overflowing and started uh, blowing smoke in the rear of the car. Um, that has definitely helped it a lot. Now I can take you back into my garage, lift this thing up so you can see uh, my suspension upgrades. Uh, that is where most of my upgrades are right now. So uh, let's go. Now that we're here in the garage, car's up, wheels off, and properly secure. We can now see what's going on under here. Starting right here, I guess. This is still just all caliper. It has the PowerSop Z26 brake kit, which comes with the drilled and slotted rotors and the brake pads. It was all around, so the rotors still just hammer in the rear. Right here, this is the SPC adjustable upper control arm. EC Racing 10K. Uh, extreme lows. Right here is the derail um, transmission cooler. All right, now let's come down here. Uh, mommy, we're gonna go and show you some more under the car. The Megan Racing sway bar. And here is the Megan Racing RCA battle version outer tie rod. In here, where the outer tie rod is connected to is the ball joint. This one's actually the Heat Lightning Speed Shop high angle ball joint. In here, I have to put a rack limiter whenever I put in the wider wheels, or else, as you can see, I start rubbing, start hitting the insides. So, in here is the Super Pro polyurethane bushing, Cusco front lower chassis brace. All right, I think we're done here in the front. Let's go jump to the back. All right, in the rear. In the rear. <laughs> oh my god. Now that we're in the back, power stop rotor, 248 garage dual caliper brake kit. It is attached to the GK Tech Hidden Hydro. When I first got the GK Tech Hidden Hydro, the master cylinder rod was actually too long. And I actually had to cut it just to make it work properly. But before I found that out, the caliper was constantly engaging. So I would burn the rotor up pretty bad. Like this was going red. Um, with all the excess heat and everything, it actually melted the brake pads that was in here. So they didn't sell the brake pads individually. So I decided to go ahead and get the dynamic friction active performance brake pads for the rear instead. Megan Racing upper control arm, the 8K BC Racing extreme lows for the rear. Uh, maybe let's go down here. The lower control arm, the traction arm, and the toe arm. These are all from Kev D, the sway bar. This is Megan Racing also, and right here, I actually have the solid bushing kit from Battle Version. So it's right here, right here, and then solid bushing for the diff. So inside the diff, we have the Aristo Torsen LSD and my muffler delete. And that's it. That's all my mods for this car. 
and see. I mean, that's not too much, right? So, what do you guys think of my daily? Um, with all the mods and everything, I'm able to do all the drift events, track events, auto crossing. Uh, definitely having a blast with this car. Taking it every day, you know, picking up the kids, getting groceries. You know, <laughs> like I do everything in this car. I just love it. Definitely gonna have a lot mods to make this car a lot faster. Yeah, just uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, I'd like to hear them. Definitely gonna try to take you guys on all the events. Take you guys through all the future modifications we're going to be doing. Give you guys the difference of what the modifications did. Like how much did the field change? How fast did the car get? Like, yeah. Well, with that said, please like, subscribe to see uh, more future videos. Thanks, guys.